Hey, this is Brother Jeff. I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the new Lectora themes. Now, you access the themes by coming over the player skins and coming down to Lectora players. Now, Lectora themes and Lectora skins are a little bit different, and I'm going to show you the difference here and how to get started with the actual themes. If you need to get started with any of the old Lectora skins, uh, refer to some of our previous videos, and that will help you get started. But the way that you can tell is if you hover over them and you see Lectora theme and then the name of the theme, that's what we're going to be going over here. So if I click on this, um, I have a couple different files. I have an installer file and I have a player images file that I can customize um, the output and anything that I want to from there. Now, the nice thing about these themes compared to the skins is when you download the skins, they're actual projects, Lectora projects and you can uh, open that up and start building your course inside of here. Well, with the themes, it actually becomes part of your Lectora application. So you can actually download it once, install it, and then you use it every time uh, you want to switch over a course that's already existing. If you want to switch it over to the theme, you can do that easily. So I'm going to click on download here, and this is going to start downloading my, my theme. And once it's in your downloads folder, just go ahead and double click on it. If you see this message, click on more info and you can click on run anyway. This is from eLearning Brothers built application. So if you click run anyway, this will pop open with a warning. Go ahead and click on yes and then go through and install this application. Um, and then once it's done, you can go ahead and hit close and that's pretty much it. So all I have to do is download that. Um, it, I'm gonna select where it says this program installed correctly and go ahead and open up a Lectora title and open up, you can open a, a current title, an existing title, um, or start a new title. And then you can come into the design tab and once it's inside of the design tab, all you have to do is within your design, your themes, you'll notice the custom theme section, there is this new theme called Gizmo One. If I select that, it will automatically show um, my gizmo one style and I can come in here and start building my pages So if I go into new come into page I can start building my own content and all the buttons and progress meter and everything will actually Automatically update for me if I decide I want to switch the page size by coming up into the design tab I can go in and I can switch the page size to whatever page size I want so in this case I have an iPhone size I come down to other resolutions and you'll notice that the theme automatically adapts automatically adjust for me so and then you can come in edit your text edit your course title edit the buttons and uh, or add more triggers onto the buttons whatever you want it to do so that's how you get started you install your application you install these themes the custom themes and then how they become part of Lectora now, if a new version ever comes out inside of the library, we will update and see uh, and let you know when a new version has been released. Um, all you have to do is download it again and install the application again. And once you've installed it, it will now have um, the new version. It will now have the, the new content or the new updated files inside of there. But that's how you get started with the new Lectora themes.